It's the Wednesday, 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 the
Total Shot Productions, cartoons, caricatures, strips from Antwerp. There we are. Hi, Shu. I'm 13 and I'm from Holland. Uh, I made this cartoon for you to say thanks for all you've done and what you've learned me. Uh, you might recognise me as Harry Potter Best on YouTube. Yeah, Harry Potter Best comments an awful lot on my videos. I know you very well. We've talked a lot on, uh, com on the comments. And if you want to leave comments, put them in the box down below. Mia says, I sent the pencil I used for the cartoon too. I thought you might like it. It has magical powers. Oh, that's where the Harry Potter bit comes in. It's a magical pencil wand. Emilio has sent this uh, great cartoon. Hey, everyone. Today, we're going to draw the moon, but let's not talk about it. Let's... <laughs> Knock, knock, knock on the door. Open the door. Open up. Do you want to be an astronaut? Sure. That's me saying I want to be an astronaut. And that evening, doing ShoeTube on the moon. Great. <laughs> that is going up on the wall of fame. Amelia. Thank you very much. I need another room. There we are. All sorts of people from all around the world, male, female, young and old, all watch my videos uh, in equal numbers. So if you want to have your drawing on here, I don't mind how old you are. Send it in. I love getting stuff in the mail. Yay, I've decided I'm going to have a meetup for all my Drawing Channel fans in London on Thursday, December the 13th at 2pm at the British Museum in London. And I will be by the lion, the great big lion in the great court. So meet me there. Now, if anyone comes along, I intend then to go along to the ancient Greek department and uh, look at pots and all the amazing designs and kind of learn, learn stuff from them. So come and draw with me. Those kind people at Rotring Pens are sending me 40 Rotring Tiki graphic pens to give away. So the first 40 people, if that number turn up, uh, will get a free Rotring Tiki graphic pen. And the first three people who turn up and say, I love the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel, will get an exclusive shoe rainer sketchbook it's going to be so exciting meeting up with some of you in real life and if you want to keep up to date with what's happening make sure you're uh, following me on twitter that's at shoe rainer on twitter uh, where i'll sort of keep everything up to date so i hope you're going to be there if you're not you're going to be square or something like that i've often been asked on this channel how to keep pencil drawings clean you know what it's like you're working on your masterpiece and then you put your great sticky mitts on the drawing and oh no the pencil gets all smudged well the answer is simple really you get a clean sheet of paper and mask the drawing with it so you can rest your hand on the drawing without smudging it's obvious when you know but someone either has to tell you or you have to work it out yourself now, have you got any other great drawing tips you'd like to share let me know in the comments box below. Now, I often do kind of advice videos because I know how lonely it is uh, being an artist and, and you need to be kind of pushed along a bit. And just recently I did a, a, a video about uh, you know, being dyslexic because I'm dyslexic and I understand what it's like. Now, I had a comment from uh, Vicky Dynamite on that video and she says she's offended but I put everyone who's not dyslexic down by saying that they're boring and average and not gifted. And she asked me to make a video response to her complaint. Well, I'll be happy to. Uh, Vicky says, now I feel like my self-esteem has gone down due to the fact of your saying dyslexic people will be better than me at what I want to do. Vicky, really. For one thing, I cannot lower your self-esteem. Only you can do that. The level of your self-esteem is entirely your choice. And if you start saying that somebody else has lowered your self-esteem, then that is your choice to lower your self-esteem because you're starting to blame other people. As soon as you blame other people for your problems, that's when it all goes wrong. That's when your self-esteem starts going down because you hand over power to other people. And you know, Vicky, in choosing a name like Vicky Dynamite, I don't think you have any self-esteem issues at all. To dyslexics, it's like a brick wall and they have to find ways to power it down or to go around the sides. And to be able to do that, they have to work twice as hard and they have to think differently. If you think differently and you work twice as hard as anybody else, you are going to be a success. That is how the world works. In my video, I didn't say that dyslexics are gifted. I said that dyslexia is a gift. 
And that is because it forces dyslexics to work really hard to power through problems, to go around the side, to think differently. An average person with average abilities is going to live an average life because they can't be bothered to put that extra work in. Vicky, you say you want to be an architect and you want to help people by building new schools and, and houses and everything. And you will be and you will help people and uh, you're going to have a very interesting and successful life. I can tell that by the way you wrote to me and the initiative that you've shown in your questions and, and the very feeling that you had where you've been incensed by what I've said. You've obviously got passion and, and all those things will come together as they do with dyslexics. Uh, and hard work, initiative, passion, that will bring anybody forwards in their career. Good luck to you. Well, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching. And I really hope I'm going to meet some of you at the British Museum next week. And uh, I'll show the video the week after. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure you're subscribed for more Wednesday drawing shows. And if you're in the mood for drawing, go and learn how to draw a poinsettia flower and make someone a lovely Christmas card. Uh, or just try the mystery drawing. Check out my other channels. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And if I don't see you at the British Museum, I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.